Hello everyone. My name is Nikita Ahlavat and I'm currently working in Tulsi Healthcare as a psychologist. Today, we will be talking about how to rebuild confidence after depression. When you live with depression, you often feel the feeling of fatigue and lack the motivation to do things in your life. Setting goals and planning for things may leave you to the feeling of overwhelm, and this feeling could often turn to lack of confidence. Lack of confidence is characterized by the feeling of worthlessness and incapability of doing little things in your life. Now, we will be talking about how to rebuild that confidence. For that, the first step would be identify your negative thoughts and beliefs. Pay attention to your negative thoughts and beliefs. Look for the time when you're critically evaluating yourself and judging yourself harshly. The next step would be evaluate and collect evidences. Are there any actual evidences that are supporting your thoughts? After evaluating, the next step would be to look for alternative positive thoughts. Be realistic and look for more positive and new thoughts that could challenge your previous negative beliefs. Also, challenge your cognitive distortions. Cognitive distortions are patterns of thinking which are often unrealistic and unhelpful. For example, all or none thinking, overgeneralization, catastrophizing, these are few negative thoughts and beliefs we often use to criticize ourselves. Notice any physical sensation in your body. For example, tightness, shivering, sweating. Whenever you're thinking negatively, some of the body key sensations are there. Also, consider your triggers. Some events and situations may lead you to feeling of this negative beliefs and thoughts. Ask help from your family members and friends, ask for feedback and be open to their insight and suggestions about your thoughts and beliefs. The next step in building the confidence would be setting small and achievable goals. Identify which thought or belief you would want to challenge at first. For example, I am not good enough is a thought that you want to challenge. Now, small achievable goal for this thought would be uh, write down three things, three good things about yourself every day. Now, this action has to be supported with a reminder. So now, uh, choose a specific action. For example, putting a reminder every evening for the specific action. Do schedule your regular check-in. Keep a track of your progress and adjust and adapt whenever required. Celebrate your success. When you achieve your goals or weekly, monthly, celebrate yourself, treat yourself, embrace yourself at that time. Be flexible. If something works for you, be open to it. And if something doesn't, don't feel disheartened. Keep on moving ahead, trying different approaches and different activities. Another very important step, step in building self-confidence would be building a support system after depression is very important to maintain your recovery and healing. Identify which type of support do you need. Prioritize, be it emotional support, professional support, practical support or any other which works best for you. Seek out to your friends and family, ask for their help Tell them clearly that you need their help and how they can help you contribute to your recovery. There are support groups available for depression and other mental health conditions. If you are unable to go to any support group, then there are online options that are also available. If you can also look for options such as online applications and self-help books. But be aware, look for options that are only suggested by mental health professionals for this option. This step. Now, practicing self-compassion. Set boundaries. Be consistent. Notice when you're being self-critical. Be kind to yourself. If you fail, don't be harsh. Try again. Be kind and replace self-critical words to self-kindness. Accept your imperfections. Practice mindfulness and practice gratitude writing. There are so many good things around you. You need to focus and 
relive those good things. Now, the last step towards rebuilding your confidence would be to know exactly when to see a professional help. If your symptoms are getting severe and affecting your daily life, that is the time maybe you should seek for help. If your symptoms are persistent for more than a week or a month, then you should seek help. If it impacts your daily life and your relationship and work, eating, sleeping, daily activities, then you should seek for help. If you have thoughts which are suicidal or self-harming, then it is the immediate time that you should seek for help. If you are unable to cope with your life struggles and traumas, then you should definitely seek for hope. Remember that seeking professional help is a sign of strength and not weakness. If you choose to take help, you are doing one step towards your recovery and healing and your overall well-being. I hope you have cleared your few doubts and queries about rebuilding that self-confidence. If you want any further help and assistance regarding depression and confidence, then you can seek help and come to us at Tulsi Healthcare. Share the video to your friends and family to help them also get aware about the confidence and depression. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.